This is a plate of tater tots and this is a robot making kit for kids. But I, if I was ever gonna start making robots, I would start with the beginner kids kit. You think you wanna be an astronaut and they're gonna just send you to NASA? They're gonna be like, hey, let's put him on a trampoline. Let's see if this kid can jump 10 feet in the air and not throw up his fruit snacks. If this isn't considered a crafting video, then we're doing some uh, mechanical engineering today. Okay, and I took the first word of that and got me a mechanic shirt on. We're halfway there. Snaps mechanics. We can't fix anything, but my gosh, we could break it even more so you could total the car, get your insurance, and everything's fine and dandy. <laughs> if mechanical engineering is your career, it's my hobby. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this like on a random Thursday. Okay, that one's not for me. Jeez! Where'd that one even go? It's in the crack of the crevice of the thing. Riley's eating all of these, my dog. So that's what we're doing today. Oh! I missed like seven of those. If you saw the plate, just that shot, you'd be like, I thought there was a lot more on that plate. There were. Riley got some, they're over there. Mm. I found this online. This one says this uh, should take 30 to 60 minutes to assemble. It's a DIY and it's for uh, people six and older. I'm in my late 20s, so we should be in the clear. Okay. Oh! oh! Look at the bright colors. I like the bright colors. They give you a screwdriver. I like this. Neon robots, I'm here for it. Uh, there's a little instruction book. It doesn't tell you on the outside what you could possibly be making. This one says sunflower. This one says flying chair. This one says peacock lamp. And this one says Ferris wheel. I, I don't know why I made tater tots. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, it's like brain food. And I got this cool French fry dipping sauce. Who's calling? Is that our uh, mechanical engineering hotline? We're making a flying chair first. My God. I can barely assemble my office chair. Cultivate, innovate, thinking skills, and enhance hand-eye coordination. A six-year-old's not gonna go know half these words. Oh, there's pictures on, now the pictures are gonna help you. The relation between the linear speed, <laughs> which is V, rotational speed, what symbol is that? It looks like an infinity sign, but the top's taken off. Looks like a weird W. And radius R is given by the revelation, the relation, V equals R W. When the small gear on the motor shaft rotates, the large gear engaged with it also rotates. The two engaging gears rotate with equal linear speed V, so the larger radius gear R will rotate with the less rotational speed U. I think it's just two gears next to each other, kind of like a bike. The flying chair is based on this principle to achieve speed reduction rotation. Oh, okay. I have a friend that works at Six Flags, Matt. We've seen him on the channel before. Maybe I'll just call him and ask him what's up. I'm gonna figure out the relation between the linear speed and the rotational speed and the ra of the radius of a flying chair. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> He's like, I'll be right over. Why didn't the flying chair work after installation? Why is that even a question? This is all the steps we gotta, okay, where's the flying chair? I hope this screwdriver is all we need. It's like a spinning wheel. What, is this the motor? Look at this little mini motor. Wow! There's like a thousand screws. Oh my gosh, they're like little mini pliers. Do you see that? <laughs> they're like when you have to jump a car and you put the clamps on. It's like a little mini clamp. It's actually really fun. Okay, install like this. We gotta put this spinny wheel. I think this is one of the gears. We gotta put one of the spinny wheels on a pole. And then we clip it to an L bracket. It's not like this. Fat side here. How many screws? Two screws I'm gonna screw onto my L bracket. We got the other camera in here. Can you hold up this camera, please? So we had to put this on this. We gotta put, I froze the other piece. We gotta put a screw on here. These all look like the same L piece. So it's gotta go down. These are the smallest screws. They just put two in. I'm gonna lose these screws. Do we need all of these screws or there's some extras in here because I'm definitely gonna lose these. Oh my God. Screw in this amp. Do we need both screws, really? I mean, do we need both screws? No! No, it's gonna fall. Where is it? Okay. Yo, I can get not get my fat fingers in here. Here we go. Can't even tell what it's focusing on. Is it focusing on this? Can you see it? Okay. That's there. This doohickey gotta go through here. Which one of the pipe, like this, gotta go through like, which spoke? Does it matter which one? This has gotta sit in your like, this. We gotta put the spoke gear doohickey with the yellow thing we just made. Fix the item from step one onto the board with short screws. Insert the small gear into the motor shaft. What? Small gear into the motor shaft? Like this? 
into the motor shaft. I don't have a motor. Oh yeah, I do. Fix the motor on the board with the motor and long and mountain long screws. Where are the long screws? Oh, did I use the short? Oh, I used one short screw and one long screw for this thing. Oh, <gasps> the people who are like mechanical engineers, are they butterfingers? Are they dropping stuff all the time? Okay, so we have to screw this thing to here. How? Ah. Oh wait, this was supposed to go through here. Third up from the yellow, insert it in here. Do this. This pink thing sits like this. This goes here in this picture. The lines are this way. I lost a screw already. Can you see what I'm doing down here? It's just a different angle. You don't need to fall down. Relax. Where's the focus? We focusing on this? We focusing up? Pick, yo. The screwdriver is kind of magnetic to the screws. I don't know if people know that. I always forget it. Like if you put the screw on the end of a screwdriver, it's like magnetic. Magnetic? Magnetic. We're adhering this to this, and I'm adhering to the instructions. Sounds like this is, building robots is just a lot of attaching one thing to the other thing with little tiny screws. Why does this screw look different? I have no idea. I got a weird screw. They didn't tell me there's three types of screws. Ugh. Why is the focus over there? I almost just tried to zoom in with my finger on this because it's so small. My battery doesn't even look like this battery. Where are they get, their battery's black or red. Mine's black. Is it gonna blow up in my face? Okay, the this little blue thing is sitting on top of this motor. This little motor doohickey thing I just made is sitting on top of this, but it's also connected to this weird white tube thing that we found in the picture. How does, is this just, what is this? More than the instructions are helping me, I'm just like playing I Spy. I'm like, what? Oh, what is that? Is it the, the battery sitting under the motor? How would I possibly know that? It just says attach it. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. So then they have this turned like this. This is over here. And then this goes where? Right next to it? Like how far from the edge? It's gotta touch this part. Oh, there, it sits in the groove. The wheel is supposed to sit in the groove of this. Are we seeing it? Attach the motor so that like this white thing sits in the groove and turns the wheel. I don't know why this wants to fall all the time. And so, who is calling us? No, it does. It says, go to step three for the specific screw hole, screw hole positions. I've been guessing this whole time. Now it wants me to flip this over. Oh, it's supposed to be over here. You might just want to put it on the same side of the piece of paper. One, two, three, four up and three over. Like we're playing connect four. But I know what it's supposed to do. It has to fit in this groove so that it goes. I know that just because that's the whole point. I don't know. This seems better. My way seems better. I think we should just put it here. Let's try my way. I think I'm supposed to use the long screws. <gasps> Lost another one. Ah, <laughs> I almost got my finger. Okay, there we kind of go. Now I gotta figure out where this goes. I'm saying here, as long as it engages with the gear, I think I'm right. It doesn't wanna go through the platform. There you go. Why don't they touch? <laughs> no. Okay, it might work if we just jimmy it a little bit. It's gonna have to come through this part of the platform. How many twists? Okay. I love the neon colors and now I'm like, what are we doing? Look at that, do we see? They are engaging. The white part kind of engages with the orange nozzle gear thing. It's already taken me a hell of a lot longer than it should have. Fix the battery box to the board with a short screw. Fix the battery box to the thing with the doop doop doo. Fix the battery box to the project with one screw. It's on the opposite side of whatever we're doing over here. We just put one screw. Do we even have here? We can use this one. Actually, maybe we could use this fat little screw because it has a flat top to it. Okay, now we're cooking. Fix the something something to the sun sun. And then take this little mini pliers. These are so cute. I'm gonna keep these. Connect the clip at the end of the red wire of the battery box. Connect the clip. How would I connect it? It goes within. Oh my God, why is this sideways? It goes in here. It goes in the handle, connect the clip at the end of the red wire. The end of the thing comes off and then you slide this in. This is how they do it for cars. It's just like a, a random wire connected. And then I close it up again. No, that's not right. You just feed it through. Okay, I guess that's the safety part you could take off. It's just an exposed wire. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm building a rope. Who is? Oh, it's U-Haul, not U-Haul. <laughs> U, U, UPS. 
There's no way that that's how that works. It, the a live wire like just hugs this clamp and then you cover it. Insert the round board onto the long shaft. Like this or like this? No, like this. Okay, this is the flying part we talked about. It doesn't want to. <laughs> how attached does it need to be? I feel like it's gonna break. It doesn't want to attach. Insert. It doesn't want to insert either. Install the chairs. Should we even see if it runs first? It's so crooked. Why doesn't it want to attach? That's barely hanging on there. I'm gonna widen this opening with my screwdriver. This is the jerry-rigging part of the episode. It's like kind of on there, but it's so slanted. What is the point? What is the point? Insert the round- <laughs> We we definitely just lost a screw. I see it. I see it! Did that just fly off of our board? Oh! Did I just break it? Oh, it just pulled through the screws on the bottom. No! Okay, I just popped it back into place. You didn't even have to screw them in. We could have just popped it in. And this got ripped off of here. Okay, okay, all right. Now it won't even sit on here, which is the problem. This was the culprit holding it together. I don't even think you need a screw there. I don't think you need the screw that fell out. Why does it keep snapping off? Stop doing that. Now I'm getting frustrated. You mother. No! Was a water bottle part of the instructions? No! Need a freaking hammer. What the heck's going on there? I need a da 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 right. Install the chairs, which is just this stuff hanging on the outside. Easy peasy. How many chairs are there? Five? When do you ever make a piece of Ikea furniture, a new chair for the patio? When do you ever put something together and there's not extra screws or just ones that you they simply do not go with the project anymore? Clamp the clip to the metal foil of the motor. Clamp the clip? What are we doing with the black wire? If this don't stop falling over. Clamp the clip onto the metal foil. Okay, I clamp the clip. Is it supposed to touch here? Is there any way that this could blow up in my face? Is there any way? Nothing about the black wire. How come the black wire has no clamp? I'm just loopity doopity putting this in. They don't even tell you. And then the, the shaft can't be in the hole of the base because then it won't spin. Okay, is that why we needed this extra screw in here? To hold it down? This is a toy. Imagine me working on like a real life, anything at an amusement park. How is that like people's jobs? I don't get it. I should call it Matt and be like, how are you building roller coasters? How do you not have extra screws laying around? If I was walking around like Six Flags or an amusement park and I just found random screws, I'd be like, that sounds about right. A couple of these rides are missing some screws and a couple of people working here are also missing some screws. We need to go find a battery and see if this works. What do I need? Load the battery. What type of battery? Also, there's no start and stop button. If you load a battery and it just starts spinning, why don't you put a little on-off switch on here? Is that really hard to do? I just assembled a whole flying chair. There's no on-off switch. I think it's a double A. Let's get down to business to complete my flying chair. Did they ask for mechanical and engineers? Okay, this should, it should just start going as soon as I put this battery in here. It should just start going. It should just start going. Oh, good. Now we got a problem solved. Now we got a problem. Here comes the real challenge. Problem solving. I'm going to guess it's a battery connected issue. The battery is in. The battery is in the right way. I'm going to connect. connect. I'm going to connect in my brain that it's the battery not connected to the motor and the clamp. There's a hole at the end of the clamp. They put it through the hole. I think it's just all touching. Connective electric, I'm talking to my ass. Connective electrical wires just need to touch to work, right? How did this black one connect? There's no clamp for the black one. How come there's no clamp? We ran out of clamps. We don't have any money for the clamps. Oh, that sucker's in there. Give me the battery back. Okay. Looks like they just literally like wrapped the black. There's like nine wires exposed. It's like threading a needle, like we're back to sewing. Well, if you've ever had to hot wire a car and connect, you know, open-ended uh, wire threads to each other, you could probably thread a needle and learn how to cross stitch. Weird how hobbies or different hobbies are built out of the same motion of the ocean. I almost want to lick this. 
to get them all to stick together. So pack up, go home, you through. Somehow I'll make a flying chair. Let's try the battery again. Do we all see it working? Look how fast it's going! Holy cow! Wait, I want it. There's your on off switch. Red wire, no wire. Red wire, no wire. Me at Six Flags? Oh, is the ride not functioning? Let me get my clamp out of there. I cannot believe I just made that. And look at it go! I did that! And I, what do I have left over? I have three screws left over. Just sitting here in a screwdriver. I can, I look at it. You can like see it spinning too. It's going awfully fast. So the black wire, even though it doesn't have a clamp, which why couldn't it just have a clamp? Does it need to be directly touching? Is that the problem? Someone who actually knows what they're doing. Does the, the black wire is just exposed wire wrapped around a piece of metal coming off of the, is that the battery? Or is that the motor? Coming off the motor. But the red one is like, the wires aren't touching the motor, the wires are touching a clamp, which is touching the motor. So what's that about? Could you not just do the same thing? Look how fast it's going. It's almost getting enough lift that the chairs are like, like, <sighs> to quote Faith Hill, I feel like our flying chair is flying fast enough that the centrifugal motion, centrifugal motion, it's perpetual bliss. It's spinning fast enough that the chairs are like, flying out to the side because of momentum and gravity and motors rotate at equal linear speed with equal larger radius rotating in a less rotational speed because the one round doohickey circle is rubbing up against this other like end of a toothbrush looking sort of thing and because we connected it with wires and batteries and a couple of screws it's making this this pole thing just turn in a circle and whatever's attached to the pole it's also going to spin we could have put anything on it. We didn't have to put chairs. We could have put tater tots at the end of the chair and it would be spinning tater tots. You know what? I got five tater tots left. Let's make it a tater tot chair. Oh, for the love. Look at that. It's the newest thing in snacking innovation. Are you hosting a party? You don't know what to put at the centerpiece. You need centerpieces to be a good host. You made yourself. It's a flying tater tot centerpiece. And then people can just walk by. Oh, oh, I want a tater tot. Boom, rip it off. Dip it in some sauce. Boom! This is a flying, spinning, tater tot delivering centerpiece. This is the newest revelation in snacking innovation. Do you have one of these? Could you make it yourself? Is it sanitary? That's besides the point. This is the craziest and coolest thing I've ever made. This is absolutely insane. We're calling it flying taters. The taterinator. The flying taterinator. Holy cow! Oh! I just... It's blowing my mind. Oh my, I don't know how interesting the video was to watch. And I was very frustrated up until, I don't know, until it actually started working. Why is there a chair sitting on my plate of tater tots? How hard would it be to, instead of like ripping the tater tot off, you have to like pick it up off the, let me just, let me just try and get, I'm just, I'm just trying to get in it. Just trying to get it. Just trying to get, just trying to get a tater tot. Just trying to be serious. I'm trying to, just trying to get a tater, just trying to get a tater. Oh, and then you unhook it. Then you dip it in your sauce. Then you, now that took me so long to do. We don't have time to do the other project. If you guys like this type of video, if you could see enough of what was going on, or if it, I don't know if it was funny because I really wasn't talking that much. I was so mad. I was just sitting here doing the work. I've never met a funny mechanical engineer because I'm sure they're just pissed off half the time until it's working. And then they can do the ha-has, the hee-hees. Oh, I thought there for a second I wasn't, I wasn't going to have any leftover screws because I purposely gave myself three leftover screws and then I ended up using all of them. That means something is screwed on where it's not supposed to be or we got two screws holding on where one should do the trick and <laughs> if it all comes crashing down we might have insurance we've got to check our paperwork so now that i got to work it's fun okay uh like and subscribe to the videos if you want to see me do the other projects in this kit and i have a whole nother box otherwise we can do them as like a side video or something as extra footage who knows <laughs> comment down below if you've ever wanted to build a robot have your taste buds ever taken a ride on the flying taterinator? I think the heart the hardest thing about this you just got to be confident i i really want a tater tot i'm very Confident I want this one. See, there you go. It's all about, you gotta talk yourself up. Just don't eat the metal pin part. Just one late lonely tater tot. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay.